hi guys welcome back in this video i'm going to detail the trigger and some of some part of the gun so let's start from the trigger here so let's go to side view let's adjust the length of the trigger there so let's move it i think this is fine i just need to move the center one looks like it has a round shape okay so mm -hmm. just a minute something like this i don't know i have to check the image it looks there is some kind of you no know, roundness on the body there okay so that's good no problem at all let's move it and here you can see we have some curve here if i press 4 you can see a little bit curve is there so let's add one edge loop here let's adjust and try to get that curve something like this and yeah so let's check some other images you can see this piece we can just extrude that from there so let's go back to Maya and let's add two edge loops besides this, you know, alongside this center edge. So let's try using this offset edge loop tool. This is the right situation for it. So let's drag on the edges to you know, get two edge loops besides that. So let's add somewhere here so that I can extrude. So I'm making it a one single piece. I think I just need to move this loop to the you know, starting point of this part. And I need to put some more loops here and there. So let's try insert as loop tool. This time I'm going to try this insert with as flow. Let's see it, if it helps me. You can see it automatically you know, adjust the safe. Even you can use here as well, but this time it gave me the opposite. No, no, it's not helping me here, so I'm not going to use that. Let's close this now. Let's go back to this view, then let's extrude this part. So I'm going to extrude this whole thing again. Okay, let's extrude and offset. Okay, then extrude again. This time I'm going inside. Extrude again. And let's come outside. We can just again offset. A little, little bit offset would be good. Right now I'm holding control while I'm dragging it because it's a very subtle number. Very small number. You can still see, still I'm getting like hard time to do that. So let's, let's try again. Okay fine now i'm going to repeat it again by pressing g and this time i'm going outside here something like this then let's adjust these vertices to match the shape there something like this and this is a very low smooth transition here so i think i need to move this and position it such a way that it you know, feels smooth the transition area now you can see you got that detail there we may need to adjust the uh, I don't know the shape a little bit something like this you can see these edges are very sharp so let's express three and it should intersect there so now it's not gonna intersect so let's put that inside there and in this situation you can also delete the faces you don't have to keep all these faces so let's select and delete all these faces and if you are deleting you don't have to put insert as loop tool to hold the kernel because now 
the mess isn't there so it's not gonna smooth and now just i'm going to you know put some edge loops there add one edge loop to this side like this and let's un put an edge loop here as well i think it's just this is good fine and now i want to keep this loop so let's go to insert as loop tool hit no press reset something like this again we don't want the hard corner here i think so let's hide it we have a smooth shape here but this part is hard so in this kind of situation let's do one thing let's put an edge loop to this side as well and here we don't want this so we can do one thing we can just collapse here these two edges or you can merge these three vertices what is this go to edit mesh and merge to center do the same thing here merge to center i don't have to keep all these two edges so we can delete these two edges so let's go edit mesh and delete edge and vertex okay like this if you press 3 now we have a sharp edge here but it doesn't affect here okay just add two edge loops like that and we can do the same thing here because we don't want to keep those hard edges here so let's do something here let's use the target weld let's go to mesh tools target weld let's use target weld bring this vertices somewhere <laughs> this to this vertices okay like this now i'm going to delete this two edge loops something like this still i'm getting a little bit you know angular shape but that's fine you can see this hard line there if you don't want that angular shape we can adjust that it's because of this you know shape here we can put we can make that flat even you can scale it with r like this to make it flat and you can move them away from each other Let's go to scale, uh, scale tool and reset it. Make it world. We can scale these edges too. Scale it and place them away from each other so that we don't get a hard line. Okay, that's fine okay let's concentrate on this back area here so we have not done anything here so let's check some images okay so here you can see some details going on there so now these two edges are not matching with these two edges so make sure let's select these two here at least and maybe here go to scale tool and scale in y to line up them you can see when i'm scaling it's like aligning them both do the same thing here as well scale to line up with y axis So then I'm going to connect here. So let's go mesh tools and let's take the multi cut tool. Click here and click here. Right mouse button. And let's do the same thing here as well. So yeah, I'm stopping this video here. In the next video, I'm going to do the back part.